I'm happy to connect what is happening today with gene drives and the new wave of genetic engineering with what happened in what you could call the first generation of genetic engineering back in the 1980s, 90s and into the early 2000s. Because if there's something actually good about gene drives, it is that at least there is a recognition now of the uncontrollability of genetic engineering. Um, now we know that by releasing a genetically modified organism into the environment, um, we should not expect it to be, to stay put, to stay in place. That was not the case with the first generation of genetic engineering. Back then, after the first release of genetically engineered crops in 1996, the industry and the promoters of genetic engineering claimed to have control claimed to really know what they were doing, to know where they were putting their intervention, and to make sure that it wouldn't spread. Um, it was something that was completely contrary to biological understanding. Anyone in biology could see that it was wrong as a statement, that it cannot be possible to constrain a living, reproducing life form. And yet it was accepted for policy making, for reasons that have nothing to do with biology and everything to do with politics and economics. <laughs>